Let's talk about authorizing APIs in Postman Flows. I have an example API here that requires authorization by adding an authorization header and then a value of the bearer prefix with my API key. I've created a variable called token that is currently unresolved because I want to reuse my API key in other areas and possibly update it in one single area and have it cascade through all of my work. Let's learn how to authorize this API in Postman Flows. So I have a brand new flow here. I'm gonna drag and drop a send request block and select from the collections that are in this workspace. I was working with the list models endpoint and I can see under variables, I have a token variable that is again currently unresolved. I can either connect another block, meaning passing through data from another block, or I can define it in the current environment or collection variables. Let's walk through a couple different ways to resolve this variable. So the first way let's look at is to add an environment. I have an environment called OpenAI, and if I hover over token, I can see Postman is reading in the value of my API key from the environment that I selected earlier in this functional block. Okay, so let's talk about how to establish a collection variable. We can edit collection variables by selecting the collection, tabbing over to variables, and then adding a key like token and pasting in our value. When we save and return to our flow, we can deselect our environment, so there's no environment now. And when we hover over that token variable, Postman is resolving it at the collection scope. It's reading in that collection variable. You can also define global variables at the workspace level, and Postman will resolve the variable according to variable scope, the narrower, the higher priority. One more way we can define this is if we just want to paste in a string, string of text. Let's paste our API key here and connect this block to the token variable. Now let's hover over token again and Postman's resolving it at the scope of flow. Within this flow, it's been defined. So a bunch of different ways to define and reference your variables um, in Postman flows. And of course, there's many ways to authorize your API calls. I'll drop a link to another video in the description below.